I wanted to know what's going on with Los Angeles and the art scene in Los Angeles that you wanted to show in, in, the, in the Punta de la Dogana show. Um, we... In English. Uh, in English, yeah. Um, I think, I mean, I can speak for me, you know, because I really pushed um, for... Um, this kind of um, California, I don't know, California, uh, a particular take on uh, what the California art scene was or how, you know, how it developed in a way. Uh, you know, because we always have this sort of white male artist, you know, from California who I absolutely adore, you know, um, um, and then that's particular sort of um, lineage, right? But California was really rich in terms of artistic production, you know, in the black community, in the Latino community, you know, I mean, you know, David Hammond, Sengan Ngudi, Betty Sar, you know, there were a lot of different channels happening. And what I was interested in is, is um, you know, kind of, uh, showing the the, um, the tension between somebody like Lynn Fuchs and Betty Sar, you know, to really show that these two voices were happening at the same time. So it's it's really opening up that geography in a way that um, I feel has not been addressed um, in equal terms. You know, so it's almost like, oh, and this was happening on the side, but it wasn't on the side. I mean, you know, unless what Sowers is on the side, unless the riots were on the side and didn't affect, you know, kind of the general population, none of these other voices were minor. You know, they traveled to New York as well and all this. And for me, it was really important to show this. And, you know, of course, the irony is, you know, given what is happening, now the quarantine and then the riots um, and we you know kind of conceptualized the show about a year and a half ago you know Thomas Caroline and I and um, I've been shocked at how relevant it is why in what's going on currently well because it really talks about you know kind of you know our I mean, the whole show talks about our relationship to nature, our relationship to art, our relationship to politics, to social equality, you know, and... This is Ansio uh, Jaffa. There's a great Ansio yeah. Jaffa video, right? Yeah. And I'm yeah. thinking also about Karen Davis. I've never seen any work from her before. I know. So that was the other thing. We were really interested in... in you know, kind of showing these voices that are really powerful that come from L.A. Um, because she, she lives, you know, she's basically here. I mean, she's been here that are not seen and that are really important and um, that... Um, but what's special that? about L.A.? What's, mm -hmm. what's really special about L.A.? Um, there's a kind of freedom, you know, there's space here. And yes, it's changing rapidly, I think, because, you know, more and more people are, are discovering LA and realizing that there's a kind of openness and freedom here that I certainly didn't feel in New York. You know, it's, it's, it's almost like it's still the Wild West in that way. It's still that territory of discovery. And um, in that way... You know, the sky's the limit, essentially. You know, as long as you have opposable thumbs, you know, and an idea, I mean, you can do it, right? And so, <clears throat> so there's a kind of magic um, that happens here that I've not seen in anywhere. I mean, the, I don't know, there's something, there's a kind of um, both a gentleness about the place, it's always sunny and all that, and it's it, there's really kind of almost dark underbelly as well. Um, you know, fires, earthquakes. Oh, um, yes. You know, the film industry is really rough. It's, but, and, and you have created a kind of community in a way. Yeah, yeah. 
This we is did. extremely yeah. special, right? Yeah. And yes, lucky. and it's um, and then you know people, you know it's it's interesting because I think there's a much more um, clear um, kind of uh, determination to deal with social issues, at least in the community that we've built, Thomas and I, and um, we're you know this. Social issues are really at the forefront, and you know this idea of partnership and you know equality in voices and being heard. And so again, back to the show. I mean, um, the way we hung it was there, there is no hierarchy, right? And so what happens when there is no hierarchy? When all works are placed in these prominent positions, regardless of the artist, regardless of you know, the material, regardless of the financial value of the works, you know, what happens. And um, what happens? You know, it's really hard to do. Well, I find it magical. You know, I haven't seen the show in person, which is so crazy, you know, but I know it because it's, you know, it's something we've been living with for quite some time. And it's something that, you know, in a way, Thomas and I always wanted to do. Um, and so this gave us, this, I mean, Caroline gave us this incredible opportunity to just, you know, run with it, basically. And we did. Yeah, yeah, that's really, I can say it's really magic. Yeah. There's something well, working I mean, special. <laughs> that's how we felt about it. But, you know, it's like, how you feel about your baby, you know? It's like, oh, my baby's really beautiful. <laughs> um you know, that's how we felt about the show. Um, and it, it's it's really an interesting exercise because we went in several directions. You, know, you and I were talking about, you know, EMDR and, you know, I was talking about dream therapy work. And so there's a bunch of levels. I mean, one, there's a sort of intellectual rigor to it. Um, there's also a visual kind of, um, you know, aesthetic component. But then there's a third part, which is this kind of spiritual, you know, unconscious, um, synergy between the works. I know it's this is super California speak, you know, uh -huh. in a way. But that, that that dimension of spirituality is very much there for me. You know, some pieces fit, and some kind of moves that we made were just because we thought it was right or, you know, with no explanation, no. Um, and so the, the whole show is kind of a mix of those three um, aspects. 